Hi, it's Vicki with Condi Systems Technical Support, and I am in CorelDRAW X6, and I want to show you how to use the calendar feature in this application. You can also use it in X5, X4, and some of the earlier versions of CorelDRAW as well. So the calendar feature is really neat because uh, you get to make a calendar, and you can choose what year and features and uh, do some really neat stuff with creating it that's unique for you. And... Um, you can change things like fonts, font sizes. You can also uh, decide how you want the layout to look. And I'm going to walk you through how to do that. There's a real neat uh, uh, place you can go in Corel, and it will generate a calendar uh, to your liking. So I'm, right now, I'm in X6, and I'm going to just call this uh, demo. And uh, I'm going to use RGB, you know, because we like to use RGB here at Condi with our profiles. Um, 300. DPI is a nice uh, DPI. All this looks well. I can change this to perceptual. It's a tweak. Um, we choose perceptual uh, mode. We'll leave it there. That's fine. And I'm just going to say OK. So X6 is a lot like X5. Um, so um, if you have Corel X5 or ever used it, you'll see that uh, a lot of the features look the same. How we set up color management is pretty much the same. So I have a document. It's eight and a half by 11. And I'm going to go generate a calendar. So to do that, I'm going to go up to tools. And I'm going to go to macros. I'm going to choose run macro. And now I have a dialog box that says run macro. It's all blank here, but macro in gives me some options, so I'm going to click down on that arrow, and I'm going to go to calendar wizard. So that's the magic word, calendar wizard. And uh, from here, I can choose to run. And I'm going to click run. Now, I have a dialog box that is uh, focuses on creating a calendar, and all the little uh, tabs and things in here are things where we get to maneuver around in and uh, create a, a nice calendar for for what we want or our liking, your liking. I'm going to expand out so I can get a better visual of what I'm doing. And just to show you, I'm going to go back and I can generate a calendar from last year, for instance. Um, or I can generate a calendar, you know, for next year. But let's just go to 2011. And in here, I uh, go to the next area of selection, and I see months. So what I want to do, I can check what months I want, you know, to include. If I had to create a calendar that was to, uh, that was specific to certain months, I could do that here as well. But I'm just going to click all. So now I have a 12-month calendar. English is good for me, but you can choose a different language if you want. Um, also, you get this option here where you can do uh, neat stuff with different languages. So I'm going to close that. What day do I want my week to start on? I like Sunday. Some people say Monday, but you get to choose that as well. I'm going to choose Sunday. Holidays. Well, I can add holidays, uh, for instance, if I have uh, holidays outside of, you know, um, what the usual holidays are. I could, you know, do that and create even more unique settings in my calendar. So this is great. I'm going to close it. Uh, layout month. This is how I want my pages to look. So this is really fun. So you can click different things in here to find uh, unique, neat little layouts that are specific to your needs and um, what looks good to you. I kind of like this one. I can see the month before January and the month after January, which is, you know, something I like to see, but I'm going to leave it there. Um, page 1 of 12, so you get to skim through and see what's going on uh, with the other pages, so we already know. Go back to January. And uh, now we get to uh, play around with the pages, so this is going to be things within the pages. All these tabs here are going to be things you can do um, to change your lettering, your font, your, the color of your calendar, things like that. If I want my text to be, uh, say, some other color than 
than what it is. Let me go. Um, I could do that here. So I can make it um, pretty much uh, whatever color I want. Uh, change my color palette if I want to. Um, all that's right here. So I'm just say OK. Now I have January and blue. So I can also change my font. And that's real nice because, you know, this is where you can get fun or more serious or fancy, however. You could do something, um, you know, really unique. I don't know. I'm just going to show you things you can do. I'm not really um, going to change it too much. Uh, you can actually underline it if you want. So there's all kinds of features you can do. Um, in here so let's just go back to something simple and uh, also you you can change your script and you can change your font size I'm gonna leave it at 52 seems like a good standard size and now I've changed my font uh, a little bit just to show you um, you can change your text in the header so you can do that as well you can do something like that now you have everything in red your days of the week you can change the position of your header, so bottom, where your days are. Uh, you can do full words or short form words, like uh, where it changes it to, um, you know, abbreviations, I guess, for the days of the week. Uh, you can highlight Sundays if you want or not. All these things you can do from here. And I'm just going back to the top. And as you move along, uh, you get other... Uh, options in here we can change it to a vertical view which you know that doesn't work for me but it might work for you um, so just pay attention to all the little tabs where you can create different um, layouts and this is fun to work with so make sure that you take advantage of that as well so once you've finished and decided on how you want your layout to look then you are ready to click generate and what that will do is it'll generate uh, the calendar and prepare it for the all 12 months so that you're ready to print it out and so as you can see it's just kind of timing here and once it's done it's going to tell us finish generating the calendar and then you left click on OK it doesn't close the box so you have to just X out so now what we have is down here at the bottom in Corel is we have all our pages just click through and we can see that we've created a nice calendar for 2011 of course this is 2012 but I went back a year and um, go all the way to page one and from here the fun thing you can do if you wanted to really detail your calendar out or make it even more fancy you could add graphics or things to the um, actual pages pictures whatever you want or even just type in on the days if you have a um, specific uh, planner, if you're going to use this as a planner or something for your work or home or something you need to do, then you could uh, type in things on the uh, actual days of the week. So really neat feature in Corel. And I certainly hope you take advantage of it. And I hope that I've helped in some way to demonstrate how this works. If you have any questions, feel free to call us here at Condi. My name is Vicki, and as always, I thank you for your time.